to follow up quickly on, on tariffs, uh, you know, one thing, you know, it's obvious, you know, a long-term historical trend for, you know, Congress has kind of ceded some of its powers to regulate trade to the executive, and would you see yourself supporting any legislation to kind of rein in the president's ability to impose tariffs? So there's a, a couple things. Yes, um, uh, and we passed a, um, a, an amendment to that effect offered by Lindsey Graham, a Republican from South Carolina, uh, just a few weeks ago. Um, it, it was just expressing the sense of the uh, Congress that um, Congress ought to have a say in this. Um, you know, it certainly depend on how it was crafted, but I do think that uh, we have seen at times um, presidents uh, exceed um, the contours of their authority. So for example, one of the things we're struggling with right now is the type of tariffs that have been imposed on um, foreign producers of steel and aluminum. Um, and I might mention that aluminum tariffs affect the beer industry mightily. Uh, just since we're here at a brewery, um, it's one of the key expenses that breweries who can their beer uh, experience. So um, almost all brewers who can beer are, are seeing the spike in aluminum prices. Um, but what I wanted to point out about these particular tariffs is they have to be used very smartly against countries that cheat and undermine our national security. Um, the determination that the Trump administration administration made against China, I think, is wholly suitable. But against the European Union and Canada and Mexico, that's not smart. They're not undermining our national security. And so I think, um, you know, we have to have a check and a balance on, on that. And right now it doesn't seem that 